Today I'm saving someone else's lost cause. Let's check it out. First, I'm starting by pulling this beast right off that trailer. Got it off of there, realized that the person used 1 8 inch steel to hold 3 8 inch steel together. Not gonna happen. Not around here. There you can see how thin the plate actually is. Yep, I'll use that for some other project. But, looks like I'm starting from scratch. Let's get to it. Getting everything measured out that I need for my end caps and cut out. Just gotta get them cleaned up and fitted. And we're going to start with the firebox, getting it all laid out and prepped for end caps. All right, now that I got it shortened to about 22 inches, I'm going to get this welded up. This is the firebox door side and got that welded and cleaned up. And now I finally got the firebox cook chamber side welded on. And I'm going to get this shortened up. I'm taking four inches off. You see, I already have it marked. And we'll get that shortened up and we'll get it capped off. All right, now that I got it shortened up, you can see I got a really nice bevel put on there. Got the end cap welded up. I had to lay a nice root weld and then a weld over top of it, you know, just to make it nice and sturdy. Got the cook chamber attached. Everything is capped off. And I'm going to be putting uh, the elbow on for the chimney here pretty soon. Uh, right after I weld up the bottom of the firebox. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. Dumb ways to die. Everything's square. I'm going to get it welded up. And I got my doors laid out where I want them. Since it's going to be an outside style cooker, I have the doors laid back a little far just so rainwater doesn't run in. Got everything where I want it to be. There you go. I got the elbow put on for the chimney. It's not really going to be that tall, but, you know, we'll get it there. I'm going to start making some hinges here. You've seen me make some hinges before. This is just trial and error for me. There's probably an easier way of doing it, but, you know, I'm learning. It's definitely quite the process, but it's fun to do. Got my plates made up for the wheels, and then I'm going to get started on the bottom rack. Got my tubing cut, and there it is, welded up. And now I'm going to figure out my leg situation. And there you go. Just cut some angles, put it together. And before I get the legs put on, this is what I've got so far. I got the hinges put on, doors cut. I don't have the back door cut yet. <laughs> Giggity. And you can see I got the hinges made up, got everything tacked together there. And I don't know, it's coming together pretty good. I might regret the copper because of heat transfer, but we'll find out. And yeah, there it is. I don't know. Not too bad for something new, something different. Never built one like this before. So stay tuned and we'll be getting some legs put on this hopefully in the next video. And like always, <laughs> thanks for watching.